Hey, so Paul Bates here aboard the Loot Princess. Thank you guys for watching uh, this week's video. We surely do appreciate it. Watch us as we take our 40 year old trawler, a CT Tai Cho 35 foot trawler that we spent the last six months restoring after I lost my job to COVID and selling the house. So Paul, Beverly and Daisy, thank you so much. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and share it with your friends and thank, enjoy this week's video. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Peace out. Hey guys, so Paul Bates here aboard the Loop Princess and today I wanna to talk about budget. Uh, me and Beverly and Daisy, we are not the traditional, not the traditional loopers. In, in my opinion of a traditional looper, you've worked your job, you've retired, you've planned this for years and years and years, and then you start the loop. Your boat typically costs between 250000 to a half a million dollars. you got a nice retirement check coming in, or you've saved a, a lot of money. None of that is true with us, <laughs> so we got to live on a very tight budget. Uh, when I originally did this, I did a, a video a while back. I talked about my total overall, what I'd really like to do this thing for, and I, that, the number was $120,000. And I'm going to be really close to that. I, I did I crunched some of the numbers on the boat. wasn't in the boat quite as uh, bad as I thought it was uh, going to be. Um, you know, I probably have uh, getting the Loop Princess, I buying it and then purchasing it and, and getting it to where it is today, and that's fully stocked and everything. I'm in the, you know, somewhere around that $70,000 range. And so that still leaves me $50,000 for the year. And that's not even really my budget, but it is my overall budget. But the, the actual loop budget, and I'm going to go break them down for, for you uh, by each category of what I did. And a couple things about this trip, I want to keep it uh, no regret and pretty simple. And that's, that's the way uh, we've lived life. Now, anybody can have put together a budget and do a budget for anything. And, you know, it, it's different for different people. Uh, for doing this, uh, we are not uh, uh, rich. We don't have any retirement. Uh, we don't have a lot of money. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit different for us. And in, in, in the traditional loopers, we're probably poor loopers. <laughs> poor Paul and Ben. <laughs> anyway, if anybody's buying that. Anyway, so let's talk about fuel. So fuel will be uh, a big expense, and it's pretty easy to calculate your fuel. It really is. I mean, uh, fuel is, you know, I, I calculated it at three dollars a gallon, and uh, you know, Loop Princess holds three hundred gallons. It's it's six thousand miles. Divide that, do the math, everything. You know, I came up with about eighteen hundred gallons of fuel I need. Added a few hundred extra gallons of fuel, uh, so I just rounded it off at two thousand, three dollars a gallon, six thousand dollars for fuel. Now, do I think it's gonna cost me $6,000 for fuel for the Loop Princess? I think it'll be just a little bit less than that. But things could go horribly wrong and fuel shoots up to $5 a gallon, I could be way off. So, but right now I'm gonna go with that. Uh, I think it's a nice round number and uh, $3 a gallon. I've never even paid that for fuel so far, uh, but the price is going up a little bit. So fuel, we've got budgeted $6,000. That should be pretty simple and we should be able to keep that on and possibly even save some money in there. That's why I put that nice big solar system on. Next thing is slip fees and moorings. Now, this is a tricky one, and I probably, in the end, you know, maybe in the total, total picture, uh, if you looked at the total picture, it could be pretty close. It, and right now I plan on anchoring 50% and mooring in the marina is 50%. So, but we'll see how that works out. We may not be able to anchor, you know, because we are a little bit older and we may say, hey, this just isn't for us. And then that number would probably double if that if that's if that's what ends up happening. So the, how I came up with that number is six hundred dollars. That's the amount we, we're in a nice marina here. That's what I pay a month. That's what I'd like to continue to pay for the entire loop. But again, that one uh, is a tricky one. I probably will not be able to stay in budget on that one. But we'll see. We'll, we'll try. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what the, the budget's all about to try and, and hit those numbers. The next thing I want to talk about is food. Uh, me and Bev don't traditionally eat out. Bev cooks everything. She cooks breakfast, she cooks dinner, she cooks lunch. We have pretty much not the same thing every day, but a pretty strict meal uh, and what we eat and stuff like that. And we don't eat out a lot. So I budgeted $800 a month for our grocery bills. And I think we'll hit that. And that's a place that maybe I could even trim up a little bit. But when I say $800 for groceries, that's trash bags, you know, all that kind of stuff too. And that's what that $800 a month is for. And I believe we can hit that one. All right, next thing, eating out, t-shirts, uh, just, you know, when we get to a place uh, we wanna eat out, I can go grab a pizza or something like this. Uh, I budgeted $400 a month. Uh, you wanna grab a t-shirt, uh, which, which 
we do that once in a while. We don't eat out very often. We really, really don't. I've said it a couple times now, but we just, we're just not the, that type of people. We, Bev usually cooks us everything. She has her meal plans pretty much a day or two in advance. And she, we're pretty strict about it. And we just, I don't know, we just like eating uh, what we prepare. So food, I think we can do that one pretty, and we could trim that back a little bit if we had to, but I think it's pretty realistic. Um, the next one uh, is um, boat maintenance. Now, you guys see in all my videos here, I've done a, a, a lot of work to the Loop Princess, getting her ready for the Loop. And I believe I can hold true to this one, but that does not count hitting a, a crab trap and you know, uh, ruining a prop or something like that. That this, this is just routine maintenance, like the uh, regular oil changes that I'll have to do on the loop, which the generator maybe twice, the engine, main engines probably once on the loop. Um, it depends, we'll, we'll turn in oil samples and stuff like that and see when we need to change our oil. But anyway, I budgeted $200 a month. Now again, I, a gear goes out, anything like that, uh, something heavily maintenance is not counted in this budget. Uh, and I have some money put away for an emergency like that. And that number is $10,000. So as long as we didn't exceed $10,000 after the maintenance budget, we would be, we would be okay. Uh, we really would. Okay, cell phones and internet service. That's a big one. Uh, and it's expensive. Uh, believe it or not, I mean, we have no bills. So we have no car payments, no credit card payments, no, no nothing. Our biggest single bill is our cell phone bill. And also on this trip right here, I've got our cell phones, which is AT&T, and then I got the Cricut Wireless uh, oh, uh, Moxie uh, for, for our Wi-Fi. And between the two of them, it's right at $300 a month. So I, I can't, can't get rid of that, can't cut back there, couldn't do anything, That's, it is what it is. Won't be able to do my YouTube videos. Uh, wouldn't be able to do anything without spending that 300 bucks. So that 300 bucks doesn't go away. They own me. Um, next one is, uh, as alcohol and that's another tricky one because you don't need any alcohol and we could cut this budget to zero but what I have budgeted here is $150 a month that might sound light I'd like to fill one of the fuel tanks up with wine if I could and just just sip off that for the entire <laughs> but that's not possible but how I came up with my budget is uh, me and uh, Beverly tr traditionally uh, we like this one particular wine at Costco and it comes in a box uh, for us and it costs thirteen dollars for it, and it's an equivalent of about four bottles, and that usually lasts us four days, uh, typically. And we'll have to manage that anyway. So I came up with about one hundred five dollars. Then every once in a while, Bev likes to buy a bottle, and we do carry some extra alcohol on the boat, and she'll buy like a bottle of Crown or something like that. And then once in a while, I'll, I'll pick up a six pack of beer, especially if we're doing a pizza or something like that. Once in a while, I crave a beer, um, so I budgeted one hundred and fifty. Now I know that sounds light. And that doesn't count like if we go out to eat, you know, that $400 and we uh, had a, a alcohol on that, which we rarely do that. Uh, usually when I go out, I just order water because uh, I have to. I, I really, I don't feel like I want to waste money on a $5 drink any place. It just doesn't matter to me. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I just go back to the boat and drink that same drink for a dollar. So it's just, oh, I've always been like that. So for me, the alcohol budgets uh, might sound low, but we're gonna try it. That, that's another one that we may not make it. You know, if I get too stressful out there, we might need more alcohol. <laughs> Who knows, we might double that budget. Anyway, we'll try. So uh, that's pretty much my budget. Now, this doesn't count healthcare, uh, anything like that. Uh, those those numbers, are they are what they are. They're, I can't get away from any of those numbers, but these are just raw, uh, keep it simple, boat numbers uh, that I think I, and if anybody has any other uh, something I'm missing, please let me know. You know, I want to know before I, I get too far in the slip. Because if we go much over this budget, you know, which is a total of about thirty-one hundred dollars a month, we won't make the loop. We'll have to stop and probably get jobs. But oof, I don't want to have to even think about that. But we did save some money uh, for retirement, uh, and I'm going to use some of that money right now uh, to to do this trip. And uh, because I don't want to have any regrets, I don't want to get you know I can get I can get done with the loop here and then go get a job if that's what I have to do. But it's not what I plan on doing. But that's what I you know if that's the way it works out, that's the way it works out. So right now I do feel like that I'm uh, prepared for the loop. I've set away money for you know like a major breakdown and stuff like that. 
I've set a, a, I've set away money for the um, the actual expenses of the loop. Uh, you know, our monthly, you know, that that thirty one hundred dollars, that thirty thousand dollars. And if I needed more, you know, I've got resources that I can grab more. And so we'll see what happens. And, but right now, that is our budget, and we are on track to hit that uh, hundred and twenty thousand that I originally talked about. It's it's probably going to be very very close to that, unless again something catastrophic happens. Anyway, Paul, Daisy. Peace out. We're just waiting out a weather window right here. Uh, the weather is uh, not that great. Uh, today it's storming out here in Gulf Shores a little bit, so we're going to wait till like Friday and then we're taking off. And uh, officially, that'll be the official start the loop for us, but we still have another uh, little uh, transition to make uh, in Pensacola, and Bev still hasn't not been released from the doctors yet. But we're still working on that, but it's it's I think it's close, and I think everything will, will work out and be okay. Anyway, again, peace out. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And we sure do appreciate the uh, support on YouTube as it grows and stuff like that. This is a, 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 a way that we can make some extra income and uh, we're enjoying it. Thank you. Peace out. Beverly and Daisy from the Blue Princess. Thank you so much for watching. Here's to salt under your keel and safe voyages. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you.